and let's put the initial position somewhere in the middle and just let's focus on the static and kinetic friction forces okay again when I'm pushing okay look at the friction force it's opposite to my push it's not opposite to the motion how do we know it's not opposite to the motion because there is no motion it cannot be opposite to something that does not exist there is no motion it is opposite to the applied to the applied force here what it is doing it's trying to balance the forces acting on that cabinet if I push this way it balances it the opposite way all what it's taken as a role is balancing the forces and as you notice the larger the applied force the larger the friction force up to a level when I'm going to reach that maximum static friction force okay I'm not sure where I'm going to I reached it so you see there where I reached it then the friction force became smaller I have no applied force I had only a friction force left there was an interesting angle to that actually I'm not sure if you noticed it okay let me try to push again what you need to focus on applied force equal to the friction force equal equal till I'm going to exceed the friction force now my net force my total force is non zero and I stop applying a force and look what happens I'm going to replay this okay focus on what's happened the forces are equal to each other equal to each other you can see them here and there equal to each other okay come on here are you working I didn't know that I stopped that much okay come on or is it just the computer not being able to handle Okay. Can you see? This is equal to this. They are equal to each other. They are balancing the forces acting on the object. They are balancing the forces acting on the object. I increase the applied force, the friction force increases. 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 Now I'm going to pause it here suddenly when my applied force reached that maximum static fr friction force the cabinet started sliding and the friction force became kinetic friction and it became a smaller value compare the values now the forces are not balanced anymore so what's the part unbalanced the blue one minus the red one that gives us my unbalanced force or my total force the forces along the vertical are balanced along the horizontal they are not balanced since my applied force is bigger than the sliding friction force okay continue playing now focus on what's going to happen I stopped from applying a force suddenly I'm applying no force anymore but the object was already sliding so there is a sliding friction force on it and it is the only force along the horizontal so that friction force is going to become my unbalanced force you see they are equal to each other and now the motion if you recall was towards the right my unbalanced force is towards the left so the effect of my unbalanced force is to slow down the object like what you are going to see here and it slows it down till it comes to a stop once it comes to a stop I don't have any more friction force on it and of course whenever I'm going to have a friction force it's going to be 
a static friction force like we have right now. Static friction force, applied force, static friction force, it's getting larger, getting larger. Again, look how big it is, look how big it is, the static friction force, look how big it is, and you see how smaller it got. Kinetic friction, smaller than the static friction. That's what we are trying to get to. And my net force, or my imbalanced force, is applied force minus the friction force. That's what that gives me. And uh, so I continue my playback, same kind of situation, my net force, I stop from applying a force, then the friction force becomes equal to my net force. Okay, let me stop this. Okay.